first joined the academy when I, well, I went on trial when I was eight years old, I think. It was a six week trial and then I was successful in that and I think my first age group in the academy was under nines. I think I joined when I was about nine years old, so I don't know what year that was be, but yeah, it's been about 10, 10, 11 years now. So yeah, it's been, been good. I didn't really know what the, the the full scheme of it was at that age, but I think at that, at that point you just kind of go on for the enjoyment of playing football. Uh, you get to meet new, new friends in there and then you enjoy it and then as you get older um, you, you kind of realise how serious it is. But um, I think it was, it's good for any any uh, young player to be in the academy because you get the best coaching, better facilities and uh, regular games as well. I enjoyed it when I was coming through. Um, about three, three days a week training, then a game on a, on a Sunday. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it, coming to play with, with my mates, um, playing games and just enjoying the football. When you get older, you realise what, what it's all about and then you, you realise that you've got a chance to be professional football and it's all about just working as hard as you can through the age groups. I, I enjoy the tournaments when we go and do tournaments and stuff as a team. Um, and yeah, it, it was really enjoyable. You go spend the weekend with, with your group of mates and yeah, really enjoyed that. Come through your system, I think probably the end goal is always to get your, your scholarship. Um, 17s, 18s, and then obviously the, ne the next uh, thing from that is your first professional contract. So I think I would have to say first professional contract, yeah. Charters will be someone you would have known for a while now. Obviously not the same age, but you would have known of him for a while. What is it like to, to be in the first team now with him as well? Yeah, yeah it's really good. Um, yeah, I've known him for quite a long time now. So yeah, to, to be playing Playing first team football with them now, it's 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 really good, and you know hopefully we can get a, a couple more um, local lads and and players from the academy come through. Uh, that'd be really good. Obviously, when when we were going through the academy, we had probably a new coach nearly every season. So there's there's been loads of coaches through through my time here that have helped me massively. I've had uh, some really good coaches throughout the years. Um, my youth team coaches, Eric Kinder and uh, Mark Birch, they were both really good with me and helped me um, prepare me for the next step, I guess. So yeah, they were really good. I had some good ones when I was younger. I remember um, John Devlin um, and Stephen Rudd there, just two, but there was, there was, there was loads that, that were really good for me. Let's speak on when you signed your first professional deal, yeah? How did that feel? Uh, absolutely amazing, you know, you work so hard through all the age groups and that, that's always the end goal. Um, so yeah, it was a really proud moment uh, for me. Speaking on your scholarship, you signed your professional deal before the end of that. How important was that to you? Yeah, yeah, it was. It was important because it kind of gave me um, a bit of breathing space, but so I got that ticked off so I could just focus on improving as a player and you know I just wanted to be with the first team all the time and um, just train every day, train as well as I can to uh, just improve. Second half of the 21-22 season you joined Gateshead on loan, how did you find that over there? Yeah, really enjoyed it. I was At that point I was desperate to play games. I think it's massive for any young player's development is to play regular regular games at a high first team senior level. So yeah, uh, I think I got a lot from it. Uh, improved massively as a player and enjoyed playing football. I believe you gained promotion there as well, didn't you, that season? Yeah, won the title that season. Um, so it was a good experience overall. I played lots of games. Uh, and then obviously the experience getting promoted was, was great. The 21-22 season, you were named 18's captain and by the end of that campaign you'd made your debut here for the first team. What a season that must have been for you. Yeah, yeah, it was really good. Uh, I enjoyed it. Um and uh, we also stayed up that season as well, which was really nice. Um, so yeah, and obviously with a, with a gaffer coming back, it was a, a big boost for the whole club. And um, yeah, it really, it really kicked us all on. And you know, seeing that there was probably going to be an opportunity with him at some point, and when I got it, I, I like to think I, I did, I did all right. Let's speak on last season now. The, the big thing being the playoffs. What was that like to experience as a, as a Carlisle fan, the local lad? Yeah, it's a bit surreal to be fair. Obviously, you, you, as being a local lad, you're a fan of the club. Um, you want, the playoffs are on telly every year. It's sometimes weird to see lower league clubs being on TV and then being involved in the playoffs. Massive games, you see all the sky cameras. Uh, it's just a great experience overall. Obviously, the first leg in the semi final away at Bradford didn't go to plan. We lost that game, but that second leg here, what was that like? Uh, yeah, brilliant. I think 
the, the second half of the first leg, we showed that we've got a lot, uh, a lot to compete with Bradford. I think we're on top, and then that took us into the, the home game here, and it was absolutely jam-packed. Probably nearly sold out, and then got the result in the end after extra time, and then pitch invasions was... Everyone was on the pitch, yeah, it was a great feeling. What was it like to, to be stuck in the middle of that pitch invasion, shall we say? How was it? Uh, good and bad at the same time. I was getting jumped on. Uh, took me about half an hour to get from the middle of the pitch to the dugout. But obviously, you know, it's really enjoyable seeing what you can what you can do to the fans and how much it means to them as well. Last summer, you signed a two-year contract extension. How proud was that for, for you and your family? Yeah, yeah, it was really, really nice. Uh, something that once, once I heard about it, I wanted to get it done. Um, Obviously, especially with the new owners, it's a really exciting project what they've got now as well. So going forward the next uh, next couple of seasons, I'm, I'm looking to keep improving as a player, keep playing games hopefully, and uh, we'll see where it takes us. Moving on to the big one now, Wembley. Talk me through that. What was that weekend like? Uh, mental. Wembley weekend was mental. We went down two nights before the game, which is longer than we've ever done before. Making sure we got the preparation right, and then I think it... The full team just focused on it as a normal game. We didn't really take the occasion into it too much. Um, so you kind of like the zone in when, when the match is on, you don't realise the, the the scale of the match that you're in. And um, thankfully we got the job done by doing that. How did you find it like transitioning from the academy to the first team environment? Uh, it's it's a big step, but um, I think you've got to be ready for it. And, and like I said about my, my youth team coaches, I think they, um, they try to like integrate stuff into the training sessions in youth team, try and prepare you for it. But until you actually get there, and I don't think I don't think a lot can fully fully prepare for you because it's a lot it's a lot quicker, obviously a lot fit, um, a lot more physical and, and technically as well. So when you go into it, you've just got to try and um, and be yourself and just just try and uh, take notes off the other pros and learn as much as possible. Like you said, we did get the job done, and well, what a way to do it. We went all the way to penalties. Talk us through that that moment, walking th from the halfway line. I can't remember much of it, to be honest. Really weird, kind of all a blur. Um, I knew when I was walking up that if I scored would win, so it was all I could think about. I just couldn't wait to start celebrating. I, I think that helped, because all I could think about was scoring, so you kind of go up confident, and um, thankfully it went in. Got a good record from the spot as well, haven't you? So, like you said, you must have been quite confident going into that one. Yeah, well, we practised in training for weeks weeks before. Uh, I think we took 40 penalties each or something in training and um, done well in them, so landed on the fifth penalty and scored. Being a, a local lad, how much more does it mean to you when you pull on that shirt? Yeah, yeah, it, it does mean a lot, especially when you've been here for for over 10 years now. Um, yeah, it's, every time I put it on, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a special feeling. You just want to go and and do the fans proud, do yourself proud, because um, you know all, all the coaches from the youth teams will all be watching. You want to do those proud as well. Um, and yeah, it's been good. Obviously, moving on to this season, things haven't went as we would have wanted them to. How do you assess your form personally this season? Uh, it's been a frustrating season for me. Just uh, played a little bit at the start of the season, then I've had bad luck with injuries. Got two like back-to-back -back injuries, so I was out for a good three months. Um, and then I've just got back in the team recently, um, doing quite well, hoping, hoping to get back up to full match fitness, um, and then I can really kick on. Speaking on the younger age groups within our academy, we've got the under 10s who become play champions, the under 15s who have progressed in the Floodlit Cup recently. What message do you have for them who are doing so well? Yeah, it seems as though they're doing well. Uh, nice to see them uh, winning, winning cups and stuff like that. Um, message to them would just be keep enjoying it, keep trying to trying to win uh, win those cups, keep having that winning mentality and just keep progressing really. I would just say keep going, keep working hard um, and then when them competition shows that we've got, we've got some good, good players coming through and hopefully we can get a few of them through to the first team. For anyone who's watching this Jack and they want to be in the position you are playing for Carlisle United, what would you say to them? Just keep, um, keep working hard, keep uh, listening to your coaches, uh, improving all the time. Um, but the main thing, just keep enjoying it because that's, that's when you get the most out of it, when you're enjoying it. Work hard, uh, train as well as you can every week. Make sure you uh, take the opportunity in games to show the coaches what you can do and listen to the coaches because they're there to help you and um, develop you. And if you listen to them, then you can become a good, good football player, hopefully professional.